This is budgie. It's kind of like alternate universe cinnamon. It, it, it too is a fork of gnome. Um, and it, it too also has a Windows-like UI. Oops, I didn't mean to leave that open. Uh, this is Fedora Budgie. The initial developer of Budgie, the creator of Budgie, started on Solus, which is another distro, um, but later they moved to help develop Fedora. And so that's why I'm using Fedora Budgie, not Solus Budgie. But Solus is also a great distro if you want to use Budgie. Being a fork of GNOME, it has inherited its performance. At least Cinnamon was able to lighten it up a bit, but uh, Budgie, Budgie did not. It's not as bad as Cosmic Beta 1, but it's still not great for what it is. It has the same simple desktop, very heavy issue that GNOME has. It's very Windows-like, it's got kind of a start menu here. Um, the two apps for Budgie, most of the apps that come with most of the distributions that ship Budgie are from GNOME. Although this comes with Discover, which is from KDE, which I did not expect. See if that opens eventually. Here we go. Doesn't really match the rest of the system. But that's fine. The two apps that Budgie does have are the screenshot, I guess? I didn't see this initially. There's a screenshot and there's a control center. I saw I saw the control center and the display settings on their on their GitHub. But I did not know about the screenshot one. But most of the rest of these are from GNOME, like File Roller, this is GNOME. If it opens, there it is. Gedit is, I believe, GNOME? No. It uses GTK, but it's not from the GNOME project. Um, because of that, most of modern GNOME apps can't be styled with... because, they, because they're made with limited data. So your budgie theme may not match a lot of the themes of the default apps. Budgie uses mostly GTK4. In fact, I believe there is a appearance setting somewhere. Network, Bluetooth, some backgrounds. I think this is from Fedora. This is Fedora 43, where you're testing this on. Detasking. It's like you can turn notifications on and off for other apps. I bet if some of these are flat packs, you can probably change more, more about them. Privacy, this is cool. Sharing. I'm not sure if this is SSH or like remote desktop. I don't know what this does. Sound. Display settings. Oh, and nightlight. I didn't realize these can turn into tabs up here. Mouse and touchpad. What is this? I am scrolling. Oh, I can scroll. Huh. That's an interesting way to do that. Uh, keyboard. These settings are, um, I'm not going to do that. These, they're more complete, I believe, than the GNOME settings. There's more here than I saw in GNOME, but it's still not, um, it's not as good as Cinnamon or XFCE or some of the other ones that are more customizable. Now, where are the theme settings? Maybe that's in the, the other one, the desktop settings. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is the one that Silo, I don't know what that is, is the one that came with um, Fedora. This font's Raven, is it the calendar? How do I open the calendar? Right click? Is that not the calendar? That's log, that's, oh, oh, I thought this was like log out. I know this is like a system tray. This is nice. I guess that's what Raven is, is over here. If I hover over that, does it say Raven or something? No, this is probably Raven. Calendar, sun, yeah, this is Raven. Settings, that's cool. Um, if you like the look of this, then this is this is totally an option. This is totally a usable alternative to cinnamon. Alternative to cinnamon. It's not as customizable, but it's usable. The one thing that I really don't like that stops me from using it is the desktop. Normally, the desktop is just a file manager win window. This comes with Nemo from the Linux Mint project, the file manager. Normally, it's like this, where you can like select files and you can create new, it, it's basically a file manager window over a wallpaper. Um, this isn't. You can't click and drag, you can't sort these icons, you can't select. If you right click, there's only settings. You can't like make a new folder. Now it is, some of these icons are virtual, but some of them are real. I can create a new folder on the desktop and it'll show up. I can create a new file. One thing to note is that it's all single click, because you can't select them, you can't drag them, you 
can can't do much if you right click these. Um, if you single click them, it opens them. I think. Oh, I turned that off. Right. That's the when I installed this. That's like the first thing I did is I turned that off. That's the only thing I changed. How do I do that? Probably desktop settings. Yeah, the click policy by default is single. By default, you single click to open something. Which, if you like it, then that's good. But what bugs me the most is that you can't rearrange this stuff. It's the order that it's in is the order that it's in. And that's fine if these are all like virtual icons and you're not using them a ton. Like this, these two are from this? No, no, no. Home directory, yeah, and then trash. And then if I have like a USB drive, it'll show up with this one. But yeah, even if you, even if you set it, oh, it selected it for a second. How did I do that? Can I do shift click? No, control click? No, no. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, you can't move these, you can't rearrange them, they're just, the order that they're in is the order that they're in. And all I can do is really open them or delete them. So it's kind of limiting. If you're not someone who uses their desktop, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the file manager is just Nemo. I have, I go through this more in depth in the Linux Mint showcase. Um, different distros may come with different file managers. Uh, this is from XFCE, I believe Rhythmbox here, I think it's Rhythmbox, yes, this is also from XFCE. These are all just various GTK ones. This is from Mate, which is old GNOME. Um, probably most of these are using other XFCE ones. I When I tried Budgie a long time ago, it was pretty much all GNOME apps, like File Roller. Wow, that takes its time. Um, but now these are all Libidweta. Like if I, if I change my system theme to something else, I mean, you can already see how this is perfectly gray. It's kind of a bluish gray. It's not matching the system theme. Let me see. It probably, if I had to guess, since this is a fork of GNOME, it will probably suspect the light slash dark theme toggle because Stock GNOME has has that. You can do. You can change it from light to dark theme. So if I change this and do this light theme, yeah, that works. But if you have something more, I guess, colorful like Arc, let's see if Arc is on the Fedora repos. As I said earlier, this is Budgie Ten. Once Budgie 11 comes around, they're like doing a whole rewrite, that's gonna, but that's going to be like, that may be 10 years. That Budgie doesn't have a huge development team. Alright, let's see if this will show up just immediately. Nope, I probably have to reopen this. There it is, Arc Dark. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't propagate over here. But if you're using a grayer theme, um, one that kind of matches those, you won't really notice. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very simple, so there wasn't much to cover. I don't believe you can customize this taskbar. Yeah, I'm clicking on it. I, nothing, nothing shows up. Bottom panel. So you can reorder stuff. Can you add a new one? No, it's just a bottom panel. So yeah, it's very Windows-like with like this Action Center style thing and this Start menu. Um, if you wanted something like KDE, but kind of simpler, this is totally usable. But yeah, lots of caveats because it's based on GNOME with the performance and the theming. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Very simple. So it'll be a short one. The end.